Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am listening to Ramones perform Bonzo Goes to Bitburg. This is the official audio. This is our long song for the Ramones. It's almost four minutes long. It's probably about twice as long as a lot of their songs. Um, so here we go. To me this has a very different feel than a lot of Ramones songs, both musically and lyrically. Um, lyrically, uh, most Ramones songs centred around themselves, each other, the people around them, and the places around them. They weren't really uh, what you would call a political punk band like the Dead Kennedys or Bad Religion um, uh, but this is a, a political song and uh, musically to me it's, um, it's just a, not that typical Ramones sound that's not that it's a bad thing. Um, it's just not what I, uh, I personally associate with that typical Ramon sound.
that was Ramones with Bonzo Goes to Bedburg. Uh, typically, uh, uh, it was a um, song criticizing uh, the then president Ronald Reagan for um, a trip or more so a, a, a site he went to in um, on his German um, or his visit to Germany at the time um, and I'm not sure whether it was because of infighting about the title of the song um, but the title ended up getting changed from Bonzo Goes to Bitburg um, to my brain is hanging upside down. So, the Ramones were an American punk rock band formed in the New York City neighborhood Forest Hills, Queens in 1974. Uh, they're known for helping establish the punk movement in the United States Though achieving little commercial success, the band is seen today as highly influential in punk culture. All members adopted pseudonyms ending with the surname Ramon, although none were biologically related. They were inspired by Paul McCartney, who would check into hotels under the alias, alias Paul Ramon. An All Boy is the ninth studio album by Ramones, released through Sire Records on May 19th, 1986. Due to conflicts within the group, the band, uh, the album features less of lead singer Joey Ramone, both in performing and writing, and less performing from guitarist Johnny Ramone. Bassist D.D. Ramone wrote and sang more on this album than on previous albums and Richie Ramone became the first drummer to write songs for the band since Tommy Ramone, the band's original drummer. Bonzo Goes to Bitburg is a protest song um, written by Joey Ramone, Dee Dee Ramone and Jean Beauvoir. It was issued as a single in the UK by Beggar's Banquet Records in mid-1985. The song is an emotionally charged commentary on the Bitburg controversy from earlier that year in which US President Ronald Reagan had paid a visit to a German World War II cemetery and gave a speech where numerous um, SS soldiers were buried. Lyrically, the song is a departure from the usual Ramon topics. Um, while not uh, commercially successful, it was critically well received. Um, yeah, so I like the song. It's not one of my favourite Ramon songs, um, but I do like it. Um, they have worse. <laughs> So, yeah, overall I do like this song. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did and you would like to support the channel, the best way you can do that is by liking, subscribing and commenting. It all helps. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.